Hello, welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Today I have a ESV Holy Bible and it is something that I picked up at a thrift store. It's pretty well thrashed uh, on the edges and looks like it was maybe carried to Sunday school or something like that. This cover is just gorgeous though. And it's one of those just kind of gifting ones. You can get them I think on Amazon or online, but as you can tell, it has some wear and tear to it. The pages are wrinkled, but the nice thing is there's no writing on the inside. So it's a, and also it's not a study Bible so that you can just kind of take this when you go for Bible study. So I went ahead and started painting and then I thought, oh, I should probably do a video just in case somebody else wants to to do this. So um, just join me today in painting this. Somebody owned this before whose initials are JTK, JTK. And uh, I don't want that on there. And then there's some goo or something here. It looks like maybe a kid owned it or something. And they, I don't know, maybe they kind of used it up. So what I'm doing is what I want to uh, is the edge to be painted and I want it to match this and if you just like google bible edge painting there's a bunch of stuff so today I just want to keep it kind of I don't know just simple as simple as I can and there are people who like tape their bibles off and stuff like that but you know I'm not gonna do that because I don't do that kind of stuff so I'm just holding this and I am just applying uh, kid paint. Actually, this is just kid watercolor to this. And as you can tell, there's it's light in some areas and dark in other areas. And I'm okay with that because I am going to just put this down. I have been staring at the four edge painting for a while. So what I'm also getting myself ready to do is do this on my beloved Bible and paint a scene from Genesis, which I think will be, in my head, it's going to be beautiful. In real life, who knows? <laughs> um, I might just do a video of that too. And then that way, if it's ruined, You'll be like, oh no, I'm never trying this out. Thanks for ruining your Bible. 
for me, but you know, um, it's art. It's arte. We let our kids ruin stuff. Why don't we just do it? Again, this is not ruining. Why, am I, why do I keep saying ruining? It's not ruining it. It's making it pretty. And like I said, the other thing that was on there was not good at all. I'm ruining the paints is what I'm doing. Oops. Oh, well. Hey, kid paints. That's what you get. You get what you get. All right. Uh, yellow not showing up on these dark colors. Hmm. So much for keeping it all one color, right? All right. Let's see. Any yellow showing up on there? Nope. Still not showing up. And look, there's like a part over here. If you can see, it's not really getting covered, but it actually is. There we go. Oh, yeah. I forgot I had a little spot here. So do I do a little bit of green there? Hmm. I don't know, but you know what? This blending in is not blended in for my for my liking. All right, let's add a little bit of texture here. Okay, so for this, mm, no, I'm gonna keep it blue up here. I changed my mind. I was gonna maybe write a verse or something there, but I think not. Okay. And then another thought I had was like an ombre effect, but you can tell I just kind of put paint on there. And... There went that. You could do that though. That would be pretty. Like just starting off light and going dark. Like maybe dark on these edges here right next to the spine and then lighter down as you go. You could do that. I think uh, if you're not like me, maybe actually plan this out uh, as far as what you would like to do instead of just winging it. But I, I mean, it's, yes, it's winging it, but it's also like, I knew I just wanted a certain color to match. I think it's a pretty darn good match. So, all right, there's my Bible painted already. And a couple spots that are missing and then into the green here it's still problematic not really liking the way that's there okay that's a little better maybe if I go So I've been trying the dry brush and it's actually like dragging, grabbing and dragging the pages. And I'm finding that a wetter brush is doing better, but look, look at the curving that's happening already to my pages, see? I, I make junk journals, so I like coffee dyed and crinkly paper. I know that some of you are probably absolutely flipping out right now, but that's okay. Again, my Bible, thrift store. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. It's going to be just fine. Um, I had some comments on my video where I deconstructed a, a book that, of course, was getting ready to go into the landfill as trash. And people were like, no, not the book. But, you know, it's going into the landfill. What do you... You're actually using it for art. Don't worry about it. This one was an abandoned Bible at the thrift store. Now it's getting some paint on it. Okay, I have to say, I like it. like it a lot. Uh, I don't like that dot there because it's kind of now showing up just way too dark and weird. I'm going to maybe add a few things here that kind of smooth it out. There's another spot here too. Whoa, that's super dark. Ooh. It's fine. And this is nice and light, so I can definitely put some verses on here. So I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then I'll be right okay, back. Okay, I didn't leave it alone. Um, 
I was going to set it down to dry and then I thought this needs a little something. So I'm using my pearl watercolors and these are from Yasutomo. Yasutomo. And these are just actually not that expensive. Five bucks, I think. Five, maybe six bucks for pearl paints. And look at the difference here between that. So you almost kind of get, you don't get a gilt edging, of course, because that's gold. But look at, can you see that? It's giving a pearlescent sh uh, shine on this so that it makes it look a little shimmery and that is so pretty. So I'm using the yellow on this so it actually shows. And then I am using a fairly dry brush uh, on the teal. And I don't know if I'm gonna, no, I guess I probably have to go all the way. Yes, I was gonna say, I don't know if I'm gonna go all the way into that, but I think I'm, ah. All right, let me get those out of the way. I could have used a blue, but I'm using kind of a greenish so that it comes out more like the teal. So pretty. Uh, it just needed a little something, you know, a little something, something, a little something extra. Okay, I have to say, this looks way better than the thrift store um, original order. And now it is, everything needs just a little bit of bling, I think. And, you know, I'm just a big fan of Bibles with the gilt edging. And this was no edging at all, just plain white. And now it has some shimmer, which is just great. So just putting some of that on. And then I think, I think I will leave it alone. That's just, you know, it's still, I may just stop the camera and then decide to do something else, I guess. That could happen where I think it needs a little bit of glitter or something, but nah, I think I like this very much. Okay, so in the light, I hope you can see are you able to see how shiny that is? You can kind of tell I have glitter, not glitter, but the pearlescent. I don't know, can you tell? There, on the edge you can. Right there, it catches the light. Yep. All right, so that's it, and I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then come back. So I dried this with a hair dryer, and what I did was I just kind of held it shut and set it on the counter and just kind of went like this and hit it with a hairdryer. And it's dried pretty well, I think. it's The pages are still a little wavy and curly, which is to be expected. But overall, it's not like fluffing up as a wet book might want to do. But still, the uh, after the paint's been dried, the pearl paints just look really, really pretty and add a very nice shine to this. So I also decided I wanted to draw something on here and I picked Ephesians 6 and let me, let me get the verse so that, that would just be tragic if you have the wrong verse on here, wouldn't it? Let's see, Ephesians, there we go, Ephesians 6 and it is the armor of God and at the end, is the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So I'm gonna use that, and that is Ephesians 6, 18, no, 17. Okay, so Ephesians 6, 17, I'm gonna just jot that down because of my short-term memory. And then I am also using my, I was going to use my fountain pen, but just in case the ink, the paint is not that dry, the ink can actually spread. 
And so I'm gonna be using this Uniball Signo, which I use for Bible journaling quite a bit. And I also kind of wiped down this really icky Bible just because it had some other random fingerprints and stuff like that. So Sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. So I think I want the sword here. That would be great. So um, join me on this journey as I draw the Sword of the Spirit. So let's see. I'm just going to freehand this in ink. Yeah, I know. I guess you could use a pencil, which probably would be good, but I'm just going for it. Mm, I need a straight edge, though. So let's see. I'll use my junk journaling guide here. See if that'll work. No, that does not work. Okay, so just freehanding it then still. And let me go in a little bit so you can see my, um, my attempt here. It's looking like a sword. tapering it down something on the edge of there all right and then the center and then the handle I kind of like a little like a circly piece here first Maybe just keeping it simple, little squares here. And you can always come back and just kind of make this darker. I'm just kind of sketching it out right now. There's some little bits of paint, I think, that are getting on my, my gel pen. And this continues to go down more, I think, on a sword handle. I know this probably looks like nothing from where you're looking. There we go. Can you see that? Okay. And it's a little tilted, but that's okay. It'll be a sword at an angle, I suppose. Here's this part here. Okay. There we go. And then it's going to have some lines where you hold the sword. So that looks like a sword. Doesn't look too bad. I'll tell you what, that was a little scary. This whole operation's been a little scary. But again, I think you have to remember what it looked like in the beginning and think it, it really can't look any worse than what it did before. I'm gonna add just a little, little detail here. I think that spot was a little wet because the paint is kind of going out in that section. Still looks good. All right, there's my sword. Huh, not, not too shabby. All right, and then I'm going to add Ephesians 6 here. And I think, okay, so one thing I'm realizing is if you're going this way, your pen's going to go into the page. If you go this way, I think it's doing a little bit better. So maybe I write Ephesians 6. I guess I should do it this way. Let me, let me write Sword of the Spirit. All right, I'm going to write... I'm going to write it kind of Old English, I think. I've been writing stuff a lot like Old English, and it looks super cool, I think. This is my attempt at Old English freehand without anything to look at. And what I will do is after my 
paint dries completely, I will most likely fill this in with a fountain pen just because the ink flows better than a gel pen does. There you go. I apologize that I'm kind of covering this part up. But I kind of have, you have to hold the pages together. Ah, am I even in frame? There I am. It's a sword. It looks a little junky. And with the S being a lot skinnier than the D. But I'm going to fill all of this in. So hopefully it will be a little bit forgiving and these are just going to be regular letters of And then it'll say spirit down here. So let me come back and look at this with my fountain pen. I'm just gonna go for it. I don't know if it's dry yet, but I can't wait. I, I just don't have that patience. Just wanna see what this ends up looking like. And I don't want it to look kind of flimsy here. So, yeah, your pen just literally goes into the pages. And I think the gel pen was doing way better than the fountain pen is. And I don't know why. Nice thing is it, it's a sketch and it looks like a sketch. By the way, if you can hear a tick, tick, tick in the back, that is a timer on for something that I'm baking. Oops, got some ink on the side. Oh well. All right, now I'm gonna be Jotting down some dots here. Well, the fountain pen is not doing so great on here. I wonder if it's drying that out. Hmm. Maybe something about writing on pearl paints or something. Okay, and I'm getting ink on the edges. Hmm, that doesn't look so bad. All right, so what to do with this? So I'm gonna fill this part in with the ink. I think I'm just gonna to have to stick to the regular. I think I was trying to do something that's not working. All right, let's go back to this. Yeah, that's working better. So stick to a gel pen. And I'm not going to do all of this on the video. I will just do a little bit and then put a picture at the end. Or maybe just come back at the end and show you the finished product. So just stay tuned. Okay, so ready for the big reveal? I didn't know what to put on the top. It was just kind of sitting there lonely. And then here it says sword of the spirit, Ephesians 6, 17. So I'm pretty glad that I did this and it actually helped me to have a few lessons on what works and what doesn't work. And by the way, I ended up actually using the fountain pen. It I just needed to kind of hold it down a little bit more and then the ink um, filled in the, the paper really well in terms of coverage so that it looks like um, 
it, it looks solid and not like um, had a lot of lines. So anyway, just did all of that with the fountain pen and I think it worked out well. This is just a little freebie fountain pen from FPR and it's filled with diamine forest green, I think, but the green looks up as black on here. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope that you will maybe find uh, one of the Bibles that you've had for a while, one that's maybe seen better days or even try a different book, but try it out and see what you find. And if you are interested, I will put it in this in the uh, information. It is called Four Edge Painting, and there are some amazing, amazing paintings. So until next time, um, will you just, if you like this video, if you like it, or just send me a comment on what you thought and subscribe because I'm going to have some more videos coming up with lots of different things. So I hope you will check it out. Till next time. Bye.